Hey guys, this is uh, Mike. I'm going to attempt to do a video showing uh, creating a walk cycle in Carrera. I'm using Carrera 8. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, the file, the character for our movie project, which I uploaded to uh, the box site, so you can get it there. Um, there's a couple things I want to do first. Um, first we'll go to the scene settings, go to the interface and change the nudge settings to a nice small amount. I find uh, nudging thing using the cursor keys sometimes is a lot easier to do when you're really moving things by a small amount. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's just easier than the mouse. Um, okay. Another thing I want to do here. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll maybe re remove all these IK targets. When I first created this, I thought that was the way to go on the skeleton. But Dart and Beck has said you can sort of get away without doing it, so I'm going to remove them. So we'll hide the mesh after, and we've got to remove some of these connector things that are leftovers. These are not good leftovers. Um, so we'll go to the modifiers tab and remove the leftover IK stuff. So we'll go to the other bone, or the other foot, and remove them. We'll zoom in here, select the wrist bone, and delete. Select the other wrist bone, and delete. And there's a toe bone is connected to the hip bone here by the looks of it. So we'll select the toe and we'll delete, delete those. Okay. Okay, there's something going on here. There's an IK target here. Okay, so that looks good. But when we, uh, when I use the IK chain tool, it creates uh, an access joint here, and I don't think I want that. So we'll convert these to ball joints. We'll select the other one, convert it to a ball joint. So that's good, and I think I'll leave the knees the way they are. Hopefully I can get a, well, we can always change it later if it's causing too much, too many issues. So we'll go back to the mesh and make him visible again. Okay, one other thing I sort of want, want to do here, we'll switch to three screen view, click it again to put our 3D view over here. This is the left view. Oh, we want the front view. Go like this. Get nice and close. So select where you think the, the bone is on his leg. And we'll go to the front view on this one here too. I want to fix this uh, shoulder joint. When I when you animate it, it sort of tears. It's not a smooth animation. So we'll select this shoulder joint. And we'll line. We'll zoom in nice and close. And we'll line this joint up with the grid on the top joint here. And then over in this view here, I'm going to move this joint somewhere over in here, which something like that. And then we'll click the bone joint over here, and then move it back. And then you can use the arrow keys and the nudge keys to line it right up again. So it should be exactly where it was before, or pretty darn close. Okay, we'll do the same thing for this side over here. Zoom in nice and close for the thing. Line it up with the top one over here. Select the bone.
move it right about there, select the elbow, and then zoom it over, and then nudge finely, and that should be good. Okay, switch back, and we'll switch back to the director's camera. I like using this because it uh, it doesn't animate. You don't have to worry about that part of it. You just can see what's going on without worrying about things getting animated. Okay, so that's good. So now I will add some other stuff to the scene. We'll drop a cube in here. Scale it down this way, and we're going to call this ground. We're going to give this guy some space to move. So we'll move it down to the bottom. Place it right under the guy's feet. Scale it this way and this way. So he's got lots of room to move. He's going to go forward. Okay, and we'll change this color to a nice green color. Okay, and then one other thing I want to add. I'll change this color to something else. Create a new master. A nice bright color. Choose a bright color so you can visually see it and then we're going to scale it down so shift scale so it's proportionally done and then rotate it 40 or 90 degrees what we're going to uh maybe I should hide this ground plane and so control alt and click the ground plane here so now we can see the the wire frame there so place it under the guy's feet, under the bones of his feet. What we're going to be doing is using this to pre precisely uh, place the bones. Hopefully the bones won't, we can make the feet stick a little better. Um, so we'll put it there for now. And we'll call it feet bone guide. And we'll make it non-animated sort of useful. Um, okay. Okay, so for the next thing, let's try and we'll attach the mesh the mesh to the the skeleton. And I think I've done have done everything. It's sort of important to look at things before you attach because it can cause issues. I did that. I changed the joints to there. So, Okay, so let's attach the skeleton. So attach skeleton and only se attach selected objects which is what we want. And it should be attached so we can try and move the skeleton and hopefully everything moves. Yoza. Okay, it didn't move correctly so control Z to undo um, okay I've had I have this here disabled for whatever reason so you're gonna have to enable use constraints and there we go it moves that's good so now we've got that done so we're gonna I'm gonna we want to make a walk cycle so I'm gonna be using a some NLA clips here. So we go into the animations tab and first we gotta select two things because we want to make a group. So we create an animation group. And you notice down here, move this up a little, we have a new track here. So if we right click that and we can add a new editable clip and we can call this something like walk cycle which seems pretty appropriate and click OK now you notice we have a red it's highlighted here so all this is part of our root and our mesh is part of the walk cycle NLA clip and we're going to animate that so 
and we're going to change if we select the clip there deselect select the clip there you see the the properties tab changes um, so we're going to set the time range of this clip our animation is at uh, 24 frames a second which seems maybe a little long for animation but we'll leave it for now and we'll change the end to 12 here so that's roughly a second and a half so we'll enter and it changed changes here to a second and a half we'll drag that there okay the next thing I want to do is add some uh, for this to work you have to have a have a keyframe at the beginning of of the timeline so we're gonna add this here don't know for sure if you have to do this but I've, I'm pretty sure I tried this once before and it didn't work so I ended up adding all of these if you do have to add them Carrera should, should do it automatically somehow but You can move forward a little in the animation if this gets too boring. I know it's getting boring for me. And I think I'll do the mesh too, but I don't think I have to since it's attached to the skeleton. But anyway, so that's done. Okay. So now what we can do is we can actually uh, create the first frame of the animation. Maybe I'll wait to do that in the next video. Hopefully there's a next video. Should be. So that's it. We'll see you in the next video.